Hey guys, real quick, uh, I'm going to start calling this the test pond. I'm out here at the pond right by the house. And this rod, I just got one to try it out, the Pagani Air Bamboo from Mega Bass. And I know it's blasphemy, I got the Abu Garcia on it, but believe it or not, I've got like all my uh, alphas torn apart sitting on the bench down the bass cave. So anyway, let's see how I like this thing and see what good it'll do. I'm also trying, I haven't tried this lure yet, if you've seen any of those other videos, I actually started whacking some on this and these little ponds, so... I'm gonna give this a try right here. Wish me luck. All right, I'm kind of torn on where to start here. I'm gonna just start the closest place I can walk to, but. The uh, wind's blowing in on the dam, but as it's warming up, the shallow side's over there. That's kind of where I was hoping the wind was blowing into, but I think I'm gonna work to the dam because uh, Last couple days I fished, all the action's been right off the. Oh, well, something just worked out of the edge there. All the action's been uh, on the windy side, wherever I was. So that's probably what I'll do is just go work along that dam. That's where most of the fish I have caught out of here earlier this year have come from. So. So far, this thing casts this thing real well. This thing almost feels like too much weight on the tip as far as... I'm not even sure what these little things weigh, though. I'm just going to hold the rod down until I see what they want. I don't think they're going to be hitting top water yet anyway. I could. This lure almost works close to like a wake bait if you hold the rod tip up. Cast it way out there. Uh, I'm putting together an unboxing thing on this, but I uh, weighed it up with, with this reel. It's like uh, under seven and a half ounces with the <laughs> red line already on, so. If I leave it like in this configuration with this combo, this is the, definitely the lightest combo I've ever fished. Well, well, well. There we go, boys and girls. There we go. Little one. A little quarter pounder with cheese. Uh oh. I don't have my pliers or nothing. Well, felt pretty good. Of course, that ain't much of a test. A little quarter pounder with cheese. Jump. You guys hear that? Big old carp, I bet. Let me get back out there where I was. I don't remember how I was reeling. I think I was about like this. Kind of getting it down. Feels pretty sensitive. I can feel that bait. It ain't got a big uh, bill on it, but you can feel it shaking, doing its thing down there. It's this rod, and I, of course, I have braid on. 10 pound. I believe that's uh, cast king, cheaper stuff. But so far I've had, I don't know, braid braid, I think. That's, that's pretty stout. Most all of it, you know, will, if it says 10 pound, it'll break well beyond that, 11, 12, 13. So, anything, if you're <clears throat> fishing with braid, and then I like to run, I don't like to go straight braid to the bait. I like to give myself about my arm's length, so which probably about six foot, spread my arms out and tie on a copolymer leader is what I use, a key line original. I think you can only get it from Tackle Warehouse. I don't think you're going to find it at, I think I love Cabela's Bass Pro. None of those guys carry it. Not the store anyway. I don't think I remember seeing it.